Cool. Good. Looking good. Nice dive, Mr. Threepwood. If you'll excuse me for a moment. What Marco doesn't know is that we've replaced his regular baby seal oil with Starbuckaneer Schmearwiz. Let's watch. Now, my friend, prepare to watch a master in action. Now, Marco de Pollo will attempt to beat Guy Brush Threepwood's dive. Let's give him complete silence for this dive. What? Shoot! Go away! Ladies and gentlemen, the new all world plague diving champion is. Uh, I brush three wood. I protest. That was not a fair dive. I want a rematch right now. I am Marco de Pollo, the greatest plank diver in the world. Marco. Polo. Who said that? Marco. Polo. Stop it. I will not be mocked. Marco. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Polo! <laughs> Gee, I wonder how Elaine's doing. Hi! Hey, thanks for coming out to vote. Remember, a vote for me is a vote against Demon Spawn Hell Pirates! Thanks for your support, citizen. Good times and free grog are just around the corner. Don't vote for Charles. He's really LeChuck, the demon zombie ghost pirate from hell. Oh, give it up, Mrs. Threepwood. Everybody knows that LeChuck is dead and that your husband killed him. You'll have to excuse her, Mr. Charles. Think nothing of it, my good man. <laughs> Well, that should just about wrap things up. I think I'll go pack my bags and get ready to move into the governor's mansion. <laughs> Mr. Cheese. Aye, Captain. Raise the anchor, hoist the sails, and ready the warp drive. Aye, Captain. Otis. What? Go find Carla and sober her up. Oh, yeah, that'll be easy. Now that the pieces of the ultimate insult are mine, it's back to Melee Island. I'm home. <laughs> LeChuck. That's Governor LeChuck. Do you see good? No way. Yes, why? Ozzy, I had a feeling you were working for LeChuck. I'm afraid you got it backwards, pirate boy. LeChuck's working for me. Well, that makes me feel better. Governor LeChuck, would you be kind enough to relieve Mr. Threepwood of the pieces to the ultimate insult? Ah, it'd be a pleasure, Mr. Mandrill. Don't do it, LeChuck. He wants to use the ultimate insult to humiliate every pirate on the face of the Earth. And? You know? Oh, of course he knows, you sloth-brained pile of kookaburra droppings. But why, LeChuck? Why would a swashbuckling, albeit demonically evil, pirate like yourself willingly aid in the mass emasculation of your fellow buccaneers? Well, that's a long story, sheep good. Oh, no. But it basically boils down to two reasons. First of all, this mandrill scallywag pulled me out from under that mountain of ice that you left me under. And LeChuck always repays his debts. Fine, you owe the guy, but why go along with this plan to irreversibly insult all the pirates? Because, you seafaring scumweasel, when we succeed in breaking the fighting spirit of all the pirates, LeChuck will finally have the one thing he's always wanted in life. Or death, as the case may be. You don't mean... Yes, Elaine Marley's hand in marriage. Um, excuse me, see the ring on this finger? You're a little late, bucko. Well, I think I can fix that. LeChuck, no! We may need him as a hostage. 
Uh, yeah, <laughs> a hostage. Besides, even if you kill me, Elaine still never marry you. She hates your stinking undead guts. Ah, but that's the beauty of the ultimate insult, Threepwood. Once your wife has been exposed to its hideous, demoralizing power, her fiery pirate spirit will be shattered like so many emu eggs, leaving her compliant, submissive, and obedient. <laughs> In other words, the perfect wife. <laughs> Speaking of perfect wives, where is Elaine? We were hoping you could answer that question, Mr. Threepwood. Your mischievous Sheila went walkabout right after Captain LeChuck was elected governor of this pirate-infested backwater of an island. Good for her. I hope she comes back with an army of pirates and kicks your sorry butts. Are you sure I can't kill him yet? I've left him alive before, and it's always turned out to be a big mistake. I see your point. How about we stow the twerp in an inescapable faraway place where he can't do any harm? Then he'll still be a useful hostage, but he won't be able to affect our plans. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's a hellishly good idea! And I know just the place! <laughs> Where am I? This island smells kind of familiar. If only one island smells as bad as... Oh no! Those two maladjusted greed monsters left me marooned on Monkey Island! Well, that's it. I give up. I'll never overcome these incessant obstacles. It's like my whole life is a never-ending series of... of puzzles. Oh, hey, Timmy. <laughs> Don't try to cheer me up. Just give up. You no, know I am. All right, I'll do it for the kids. First order of business, get off this stupid island. Second order of business, stop Ozzy and LeChuck from using the ultimate insult on Elaine and assorted others. Third order of business, buy some new shoes. <laughs> How'd he get here anyway? This poor starfish died on the dry sandy shore of Monkey Island. Hope I don't share his fate. It's not wise to disturb the dead. Ever-increasing monkey population. Stop overpopulating the island. There are only so many bananas. Sign, HT. It looks like that's the only bunch of bananas in the area that these ravenous monkeys haven't gotten their opposable thumbs on yet. I can't reach it from down here. It's a gold-plated banana picker. Hey, the handle of this is shaped like a little man. Funny that I didn't notice that last time I had this thing. HT, regarding mining operations. Stop them, at once. Your mining is causing sinkholes in our sacred island. Signed, JJJ. Looks like the result of an exciting ride. My gold, Shunny? Herman? Where? Well, see you around, miner boy. There sure are a lot of roots growing through this ceiling. Without those roots, there'd be only sky left. It can't be safe to store cloth sacks of gunpowder so close to open flames. Those look too heavy to be carrying around. I wonder if this barrel would explode if I shot it. I'm not picking that up. It's a big metal door. Well, there's no way to open the door from this side. Hmm, what could be behind this wall of boards? 
It's a pouch. It looks pretty useless. It's broken. It's the lever that controls the track switch. It's probably stuck. banana. Have a banana. It's a big metal door. It's a closed vent of some sort. It's dark in there, but I can see the latch for the door and a hungry looking monkey. Here, monkey, monkey, monkey. That worked like a charm. Here, have a banana. Yo! What in the Sir Francis Drake does all this machinery do? I wonder what this gauge is for. It seems to have fallen into the machinery. Got it. It's a ladder. Why? The hatch is closed.
And normally a pile of rocks wouldn't be that interesting, but these... there aren't any more boulders on that ramp. Hey, what are you doing with that? It's hot molten lava streaming all over this area. must be the most unholiest of Bibles. I'm not picking that up. What tiny shields? They must have been used in really tiny battles. Wow, I actually get to use this banana picker more than once. At least their heating bill must be pretty low. Those look pretty uncomfortable. Greetings, my child. Welcome to the first church of Lechok, Orthodox. I am Father Allegro Rasputin. How may I help you? The first church of Lechok? You're kidding, right? Not at all. This temple is dedicated to worshipping the awe-inspiring perfection that is LeChuck. How could you build a religion around LeChuck? He's an unholy demon pirate from heck! I kindly suggest that you mind your tongue, heretic. Such blasphemies will not be tolerated in the house of LeChuck. Well, how does the Church of LeChuck compare to other major religions? They're remarkably alike. Only ours has a lot more screaming flames and pointy sticks. That's kind of what I imagine. Don't look now, but there's a river of lava flowing through the middle of your church. Yes, I know. We use it for church ceremonies. Bar mitzvahs? Weddings. Well, I guess that's one way to cure cold feet. How does this stream of lava fit into the church's wedding ceremonies? Good question, Tovarish. Here at the Church of the Chuck, we see marriage as a plunge into the unknown. As a symbol of that plunge, we send our newlyweds on a harrowing ride down a river of molten lava. Doesn't that kill them? Only if the restless spirit of the church doesn't approve of you. Besides, our honeymoon boats are lined with standard voodoo enhanced asbestos to keep fatalities to an acceptable minimum. Are 
Are you some sort of hologram or something? Of course not. I'm a ghost. And you're a priest? Da. So you're sort of a holy ghost then? <laughs> Very clever, my child. But let's not go looking for trouble. Eh? How did ghosts like you end up running the first church of Lechak? That's an interesting story, Tovarish. Why do I keep asking people their life stories? Many years ago, I was the captain of a stately ship called the Weeping Iguana. It was a good life, hauling contraband plush toys from one island to another. And then you met LeChuck? And then I met LeChuck. His crew of crazed ghost pirates made quick work of my fine ship and our equally fine crew. Ugh, I hate when that happens. LeChuck himself gutted me with his flaming ghost sword and held my still-beating pancreas in front of my face before I die. Uh, okay. Then I woke up. I was another member of his obedient ghost crew. Well, how'd you go from being a ghost pirate to a ghost priest? It was a gradual process. At first, I resented the church for turning me into a ghost. But the more I thought about it, the more I came to revere him as a god. After all, he did bring me back from the dead, which is a pretty neat trick. So I decided to build this church in his honor. Well, how do you like being a ghost priest? The hours are good. I occasionally miss the high seas. I could use some advice, Padre. What's troubling you, my son? I need to find a way to get off this fresh Schluggener Island. There is no escape from Monkey Island. That's not true. I've escaped it on at least two occasions. Well, then why don't you just escape it again, Mr. Smarty Pants? I, um, can't. Ha! I'd still like to escape from Monkey Island. Like I said. There is no escape for a monkey island, not even in the sweet embrace of death. Jeez, that's discouraging. I'm looking for an antidote to the ultimate insult. I've never heard of that. What is it? It's a voodoo talisman that shatters the souls of pirates. Hmm. During my travels with Lichak, I noticed that the easiest way to defeat a voodoo curse was by employing a bigger voodoo curse. But perhaps I'm oversimplifying your plight. Well, that's okay. My plight could use some simplifying. I've got a couple of evil schnooks on my back. You must do as LeChuck does when beset by many enemies at once, my son. Run like a cowardly dog? No, you must turn your enemies' energies against themselves. How? How should I know? I'm just a ghost. On second thought, getting advice from an obsessed ghost priest seems like a bad idea. As you wish. I'd like to try your lava plunge. Wonderful. That is your problem. Um, I'm already married, and my wife is several islands away being harassed by bad guys. Well then, you can't take the plunge. Oh, come on. Let me ride a boat down a river of molten lava. What am I saying? Well, I suppose we could use another test run before let chuck any lanes in pending nuptials. What? Hop on board. It's... pink. I hope this isn't the boat with the leak. <laughs> I have a very bad feeling about this. So useful without a hard to reach object to pick up. There's a pool of lava here with some amazingly heat resistant weed sticking out.
the lava goes, back to the earth from whence it came. All the lava is seeping into the ground now that all the heat resistant weeds have been whipped. You know, this tree doesn't look very stable. Looks lonely too. Maybe I should just put it out of its misery. Wow, that tree just fell right over. Um, Your Holiness? Yes, my child. I'd like to take another test ride on your matrimonial lava plunge. This is highly unorthodox, but what the heck? That's the spirit! If the boat gets stuck, just give it a good key. You know, it's little things like this that keep startup religions from getting the respect they deserve. Banana picker is really starting to come in handy. Please step up to the boat to your right and enjoy your visit to the first church of Lichuk Orthodox. Nothing like a brisk walk among the lava fields, I always say. <laughs> I hope that bridge has a high melting point. <coughs> Greetings. I am Jojo Jr. Monkey Prince. Hey, 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 you can talk! As can you. Imagine that. I still can't believe you're a talking monkey. That is why you fail. The question is not why a talking monkey, but rather, why not a talking monkey? Okay, so why not a talking monkey? Precisely. Why not? How did this come to pass, O oh Great One? On a warm, sunny day. Uh, much like this one. Short version, please. I, I was in the clearing next to the giant monkey head, burying my dearly departed father. Your father? 
You mean... Jojo Sr. Apparently, someone had trained the poor loyal fool to grab the switch that controlled the gate to the giant monkey head. Why does that sound familiar? But that same stupid someone forgot to train my father to let go of the switch. Oh, no. Eventually, my father starved to death, swinging on a switch, waiting for a simple command that never came. Gee, that's, um, horrible. Yes, well, I was just completing the grim task, and I heard a low humming coming from the giant monkey head. Well, being a curious monkey by nature, I cautiously approached the humming head and reached out my hand towards its massive mouth. As I touched it, a tremendous bolt shot through my body, knocking me unconscious. But when I came to, I discovered that I had an enormous understanding of the world around me. You mean you could talk? Oh, that too. Do any other monkeys talk? Of course they do. Oh. <laughs> you mean, do they talk in your language? No, I am the only one. As interesting as this may be to you, I feel we might be straying from what is important. Hey, neat hat. Thank you. It is a hat of honor. Can I have it? Oh, that is a question only the stars and the heavens themselves can answer. Um, okay, but can I have your hat? No. What do you mean, hat of honor? To earn the right to wear this hat, one must become the best at an ancient and noble sport, a contest with great and long-standing tradition among the monkey folk, the sport of monkey combat. What exactly is monkey combat? It was once used to train young monkey warriors in the way of combat. In these modern times, it has become a game, albeit a game of supreme honor. Very little has changed over the years. Much of the ceremony has been dropped, but the flinging of insults and witty monkey repartee has remained. Well, how does it work? Pay attention. I don't want to have to say this again. There are five battle stances in monkey combat. The charging chimp, the bobbing baboon, the gimpy gibbon, the anxious ape, and the drunken monkey. Each of these stances is dominant over two other stances. For example, the drunken monkey always defeats the anxious ape. So all I have to do is learn which stances beat the others, right? Yes, but there's more to it than that. I was afraid you'd say that. In order to move from one battle stance to another, you must invoke certain secret monkey insults. These insults are built from combinations of the four most ancient words in the monkey language. Eek, ak, oop, and chi. For example, if I wanted to move from the drunken monkey stance to the anxious ape, I would use the following insult. I can also use the same insult to move from the anxious ape stance back to the drunken monkey. Any questions? Could you teach me some of the other monkey combat insults? I'm afraid not. Each monkey combatant must earn the knowledge of the sacred monkey insults through actual monkey combat. But you already told me one of the insults. Yes, well, the first one's free. Are there any secret tips to mastering monkey combat? There is no way to master monkey combat without experiencing monkey combat. Rats. However, when I was a younger monkey, I found that employing the monkey see, monkey do strategy allowed me to quickly master several simple moves. It also irritated my opponents. Are there any other monkey combat tips you wish to impart, my wise little monkey friend? Only that you may hold your current position by repeating any of the primal words three times in a row. How do I employ this monkey see, monkey do strategy? Simply copy your opponent's insults. You'll lose many battles, but you'll learn many moves. This is giving me a headache. Then we shall take a break. I can't stop admiring your hat. Thanks. As I said, it's a hat of honor. Is it bronze? From here it looks bronze. Why, yes. Yes, it is. It's darn heavy, too. 
I want off this crazy island. The want of things is the core of the human experience. That's very profound, but I have no idea what you just said. It's good to want things. I want off this crazy island. Can you help me or not? I don't have a ship, if that's what you are asking. Great. How am I supposed to get back to Melee without a ship? Everyone who leaves Monkey Island finds their own path. I foresee a unique path for you. Of an epic nature. Or perhaps I'm hungry again. Any less nebulous clues about how to get off of Monkey Island? I foresee a unique path for you. Of an epic nature. No details? No. No details. Since when are there so many monkeys on Monkey Island? Since the Great Summoning. The great Summoning? What are you talking about? Shut your yap, impatient one, and I shall tell you. The Brotherhood of Primates has a unique bond with the whole world that surrounds us. Could you, uh, cut to the chase? I got an important meeting to get to. No one has any respect for history. Uh, anyway, my monkey brethren have felt a need, a, a calling to amass here. There is a feeling that something wonderful will happen soon. Something big. Something big? That is all we know. And even that is nothing more than a hunch. But it is the only explanation for this impromptu monkey reunion. But how did they know to come here? How did you know to come here? I didn't. I had no choice. And so it is for my monkey brethren. Ozzy Mandrill and LeChuck brought them all here? No. They came of their own accord. But they don't know why. I was only trying to illustrate their lack of power to fight it. Much like you. Oh, forget it. How did all these monkeys get here? Various ways. Each monkey has found their own path. Are any of those paths reversible? I'd sure like to get off this island. Your path is yours to find. Gee, thanks. I have no more insight for you. Perhaps you seek knowledge in other areas. I challenge you to monkey combat. You are not ready for me, pink boy. Return after you have defeated some lesser monkeys. Tell me more about monkey combat. What enlightenment can I bestow upon you? Could you show me that drunken monkey to anxious ape move again? Certainly. Ooh, ah, Don't forget that the same insult works for the return move as well. This is giving me a headache. Then we shall take a break. I really should be going. I wish you luck and health on your journey. <laughs>